for the ginger and lemon candy that I will be making today. I just want to show you quick, quickly the ingredients that I'll be using and the tools, the ingredients and the tools that I'll be using. And I have my mold that I'll be putting my candy in once I'm finished. I have my measuring cup, one cup. I have my grater that I'll be using to grate my ginger. I have a lemon, some vanilla extract, some powdered sugar, which I'll be dusting the base of my mold and also to powder the candy with, my honey and my pure cane sugar. On the stove, I have my pot, which I'll be boiling my ingredients in. I will be boiling the sugar to a thick consistency. I will be grating the ginger as opposed to slicing and boiling them in water because I'm trying not to have too much of a watery consistency. If you have not seen my previous video on my ginger chews, I will link that below in the description box so you can check it out. But today, for this particular ginger candy that I'll be making, a ginger lemon candy, we're still in the colder months. The weather has been unpredictable and that can mess with your throat. So this is just a quick video where you can have something soothing on your throat to if you feel like you're getting sick or you just want a nice healthy candy. This is what I will be making today. So if you want to see what I'm doing, stick around to the end of the video. So here I've already measured my one cup of sugar. I am using brown sugar. Most persons can have used white sugar, but brown sugar just means that the color is going to be darker. And I have already washed and peeled my ginger and I will be grating it and using the juice that I will be using inside of my my sugar once it has been melt, melted in the pot and I've cut my lemon and I will be using the juice in the ingredients and stir it all in together. And just a little bit of water to the sugar so that the sugar can melt and start to caramelize once it's being boiled. I'm just going to stir the sugar in the pot. I'm just going to put the pot and allow that to caramelize as the sugar melts, and then I'll come back and show you when all the other ingredients are being added. So here you can see that the sugar has melted and it is currently boiling. The consistency is still a little liquidy so I want this to become more thicker that way it looks a little sticky or chewy. So now I am simply going to add a teaspoon of lemon juice
So I'm adding a teaspoon of lemon juice. And I'll keep stirring my mixture in. Now I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now I'll also add a teaspoon of honey. Now it's time to add my ginger. I am simply going to squeeze the ginger juice into my strainer and press the juice from the ginger into the pot. So now I have my ginger in my strainer and I'm simply going to press the juice from the ginger into my other ingredients. Using a strainer prevents any particle from getting into your ingredients. You just want the juice. stir everything in. I am now going to leave my solution on medium heat I have placed it on temperature number five and I will allow the ginger the sugar the vanilla extract and my lemon to simmer and become thickened then I'll transfer it into my mold I'll simply cover this over as you can see it's starting to bubble and I'll let it boil now you can see my solution is a lot thicker I will turn the stove off and allow this to cool then I'm going to transfer it into my mold I purchased this at Michael's and as you can see they have some really nice <laughs> fruit cutouts so my shoes or my candy will have a nice shape and then I have my powdered sugar that I will dust on my candies once everything is cooled and solidified. 
So once again here you have the solution that is slowly simmering on the stove and it is a lot thicker. And once again I will simply turn the stove off, allow it to cool just a little bit, then I will pour the solution into my mold and we'll show you the end result. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb So my candies have been left to set. I have here in a bowl some powdered sugar. Now I am going to try and take the candy out of the mold and put them into the powdered sugar. Let me see. Oh my god, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? My candies came out perfect. Nice. They are beautiful. I love it. These are the watermelon shape. These are the strawberry shaped. There you have it. I have taken all the candy out of the mold. Let me now set that aside. So I went and grabbed some gloves. Here are the candies. I'm just going to roll them around in the sugar so they don't stick.
so here you have it folks I have added sugar powdered sugar onto the candy and these are the end results I think I will individually wrap them in a few minutes but I am proud to say that they came out perfect and I can't wait to give one a try mm. so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so here are the finished products Woohoo! I already tried one and it tastes absolutely delicious very very yummy let me know what you think don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe leave a comment in the comment section and share it out once again thank you so much for watching my homemade ginger and lemon candy have a great day and stay tuned for the next one Thank you.